What's up, YouTube family? I got some beef patty stuck on my feet. Anywho, uh, it's been a long time since you guys have seen the BMW Waggle in a video. And that's because she's just too slow for me, honestly. Um, I want to throw a turbo on it, but I don't have the time or the experience to throw a turbo on this car. But I want to share something because I realized that once I finished my project, I never shared it. So allow me to show you the US's first six speed, six cylinder E49. So now we are in the vehicle and uh, the swap is done. The swap is done. So I'm using the same BMW clutch and uh, master that came in the E39. But we have one, two, three, four, five. Come on, come on. Six. And then reverse. So I'm going to do that again for you. One, two, three, four, five. And then. Hey. Yeah. So this is actually a six speed out of a E30. No, E90. 330i so that n52 naturally aspirated e90 manual and it's a little bigger and all i had to do i had to do three things really three things a pilot bearing spacer adapter one um the transmission the bolts were different but six out of the nine holes lined up and that's pretty good to me 60 percent no 66 percent of bolts are in this bitch so it's pretty secure um and four things actually custom drive shafts and transmission mount uh, all together, transmission was 500, pilot bearing spacer was 80 bucks. And I had to make it myself, but I found a guy online that does it for 65. Um, and the transmission, like, because I had to make a transmission bracket to hold this bigger transmission into. Um that was like a hundred bucks so 580 and i was able to use the same clutch and flywheel so once i once i got the pilot bearing spacer for the transmission i still use the same uh m52 m54 m50 clutch and flywheel so that's pretty cool um i'm gonna post some pictures uh, I would take it for a drive, but I got the I got the E55 blocking me in, and I'm doing some work on that. Uh, 200k motor, so I'm looking to do either a engine rebuild or engine swap because she's getting up there, and I'm having like these little issues here and there. And these are supposed to be reliable, <laughs> but yeah, just a quick update on on my little drift wagon here. Uh, I have a welded diff. E96 speed and for some reason car won't stay on <laughs> turns on runs it drives but it won't idle yeah so I'm gonna fix that and get back to you guys and just have some more fun with the drift wagon because that's one of my best videos on the channel uh, it's my first manual car and I love this car to death and that's why after three years I still have it just sitting in my mom's backyard, chilling. Because I would never get rid of this car. I fucking love this car. Bro, math, look, look, look. The God Mirror? Bro. Bro, the God... Uh, what? The God Mirror? Bro, nah. This is my only car with a God Mirror. And I call it the God Mirror because it's convex. So you could see, like, everything. Like, 
it was good. You can see, yeah, I could see everything my side mirrors could see in the mirror. It's amazing. Uh, I don't know. I miss this car, guys. I miss this car really, really much. And uh, I got to get it back on the streets, man. But uh, just a quick update. I've been hustling, trying to get a spot out of New York because inflation, everything's been going up. And I have less and less money to spend on my cars every month. Uh, and I, I might have to start doing some illegal stuff, bro. Like, use your imagination to pay for these bills, bro. Because, yo, German cars, bro, BMW, Benz, these parts are not cheap. And thank God I have FCP Euro. So, lifetime warranty. Shout out to FCP Euro. Hopefully, you guys sponsor me on the manual swap e55 but we're gonna see i'm putting that in the universe though um yeah there's a couple other things i could do to this car i'm not gonna lie like, i try to try to change try to do some suede headliner i see the glues falling off like but yo first project car bro like i'm gonna stop being so tough on myself because when you get your first project car too like, do whatever the fuck is your car, bro. Like, do whatever you want. Experiment. Like, that's how I got the skills to just buy a freaking broken Benz and, and fix the shit. Because, like, I was intimidated with my first Benz. And you'll see on the channel, like, I had one before. Fucking Wise Tech 700 horsepower. I didn't want to touch that car. But every time I had to get it fixed, it was like $500 this, $500 that, $200 here. It was like, bro, like... Uh, but that's life. That's life. That's car guy life. And as the hoonigans would say, bro, car cane is a hell of a drug. <laughs> but, yo, safety to you. Um, nothing but good vibes over here. Uh, and, yeah, see you in the next video.